How to install an AM5 CPU on the SST UF Gaming B650 plus Wi-Fi. Installing a CPU might seem intimidating at first, but with patience and care, the process is straightforward. The AM5 socket, used by modern AMD Ryzen processors, is designed to make installation easier and safer compared to previous generations. In this guide, we'll walk through each step to properly install your CPU on the SST UF Gaming B650 Plus Wi-Fi motherboard, highlighting important details and best practices. Step 1. Prepare your workspace. Before handling any components, make sure your workspace is clean and free of static electricity. Preferably work on a wooden or non-conductive surface and avoid carpets. If possible, wear an anti-static wrist strap or discharge static by touching a metal part of the case or power supply. Have ready. SST UF Gaming B650 Plus Wi-Fi Motherboard. Your AM5 CPU, e.g., Risen 7000 series. Thermal paste, if not pre-applied on the cooler. A compatible CPU cooler. A Phillips screwdriver. Step 2. Inspect the AM5 socket. Locate the CPU socket on the motherboard. AM5 uses an LGA, land grid array, socket, meaning the pins are now on the motherboard instead of the CPU. Handle carefully to avoid bending the pins, they are fragile and costly to repair. The socket has a retention lever and a metal frame that will hold the CPU in place once installed. Step 3. Unlock the socket. Press the retention lever down, move it slightly outwards, and lift it up to release the metal frame. Do not force it, the mechanism is designed to move smoothly. Once open, the socket is ready for CPU installation. Step 4. Remove the factory bracket supports. Before installing a CPU cooler later, you may need to unscrew the plastic bracket supports that come pre-installed around the AM5 socket. These are the black retention brackets on each side of the socket, secured with screws. Use a Phillips screwdriver to carefully loosen the screws and set the brackets aside. Keep the metal backplate underneath the motherboard, as it will be used to mount the new cooler. Step 5. Orient the CPU correctly. Remove the CPU from its packaging by holding only the edges. Never touch the gold contacts underneath. Look for the small gold triangle in one corner of the CPU, it is the alignment marker. Find the corresponding triangle on the socket. These two triangles must match to ensure proper orientation. Step 6. Place the CPU into the socket. With the socket open and the CPU aligned, gently lower the processor into the socket. Do not slide or force it, it should rest flat. If it does not fit immediately, double-check the alignment markers. Gravity alone should seat the CPU. Step 7. Secure the CPU. Lower the metal frame over the CPU and press the retention lever down until it clicks into place. You may feel some resistance, this is normal and part of the locking mechanism. The CPU is now firmly installed. Step 8. Apply thermal paste. If your cooler does not have pre-applied thermal paste, apply a small pea-sized amount to the center of the CPU's integrated heat spreader, IHS. Do not spread it manually, the cooler will distribute it evenly when installed. Step 9. Install the CPU cooler. Place your cooler above the socket, aligning it with the mounting points. Depending on the model, use screws or clips to secure it. Tighten screws gradually in a cross pattern to ensure even pressure. Do not over-tighten, as this could damage the motherboard. Finally, connect the cooler's fan cable to the CPU underscore fan header on the motherboard.